Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to Ed Talk TV, conversations worth having. I'm your host, Ed Troxel, and this is a business talk show. We talk about business, tech, and the user experience. And if this is your first time joining, you are in for a treat. Everyone that shows up here, even if they're watching the replay, yes, I see you replay viewers, they engage in the comments. The magic happens in the comments. So be sure to say hello, even if it's just a uh, quick hello, um, or go in more in depth, ask questions, uh, quote something from the show, whatever you want. It's a great thing for you to get your message out there. It's a great way for you to stand out. And fun fact, you also get seen on Google because your name, once you comment, gets attached to my website because I repurpose every episode over on my blog and Google indexes. Basically, that means that they take that information and put it in the search engine. So if somebody ever searches your name specifically, chances are you're going to show up on the second or third page, maybe first, depending on what's out there, uh, because you commented here on the show. So that's a fun fact. Uh, for those who are new, I just put in the comments uh, your start here point that you can take care of later, not now. Uh, check with ed.com. Once you do that, you have an option to work with me or learn from me. Uh, if you scroll down the homepage, you'll see that you can. Uh, there's other options in terms of the Hey Ed community. If you're new, Hey Ed is a membership community that I have where we talk business. We talk business and tech. You ask your questions, I provide the answers, and the community engages with each other. It's a blast. We have so much fun. Pricing does go up June 1st, though, so if you're thinking about it, now would be a good time. Hey, Rachel, um, how did you find us? How's your day going? Uh, so you want to make sure to take a look at that, and then also if you're not on the email list, which is free to do, to get a weekly recap of what I'm doing during the week and what episodes you might have missed, you'll definitely want to do that as well. So that's all in check with Ed. So you can do that later, not now. Just remind yourself. And if you haven't set your reminders for the show, we go live Monday through Friday, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can hit follow, see first at the top of my Facebook page. But what's even better is if you just pop it into your calendar one time, hit repeat Monday through Friday, and boom, you get the notification every time. That way you don't have to worry about Facebook hiding it or whatever, you know. it. You know how Facebook is. It, it can be a little weird sometimes. So today I wanted to pause for a second and ask you a question, which I'll ask throughout the broadcast, but I wanted to know what stresses you out about websites? Meaning you, do you have a website? If so, what stresses you out? Hey Paula, welcome. If you don't, what stresses you out just thinking about it? So I'm going to ask that uh, several times throughout the broadcast, but I just want to put that in now because we're going to jump into random news here in a minute and I want to, you know, kind of let you think about that. So think about, even if you're watching the replay, you can still answer this question. Uh, what stresses you out about websites? Whether you have one or you're thinking about getting one. I want to know in the comments because I want to help you out with that. So. We are going to look at random news, and today I have I have a few a few interesting ones for you, and then from there we'll jump back into this question and kind of brainstorm a little bit together and give you some resources on what your next steps are uh, for hopefully lightening your load there. Hey Jamie, everything currently updating. Nice, nice. I know it it's a pain, isn't it? And, and also, by the way, you guys, uh, first before I jump into that. Jamie, how was your day and how did you find us? I'm always curious when you guys, when I see somewhat new faces or names pop up, uh, sometimes the profile picture is just different because I've seen you guys everywhere else. So, you know, whatever, it's, it's good. Uh, so just let me know in the comments. But yes, everything is a common one. I will mention already that uh, today some of you might have saw my broadcast from this morning. I actually did uh, launch a new service uh, under my uh, web services because I can build websites for you and there's also a DIY option if you wanted to do it yourself but now I have a keep it fresh you like that keep it fresh service which allows me to update your blog for you so because I know a lot of you have requested uh, for that service and have said you know Ed I'm just not about my blog like I know I need to have one I know I have one I don't update it because I don't want to even log in on the back end I got you. I got you. So there's a new service available for that. You can um, let me know in the comments. You can message me. You can just see on the website. It's all there. So there you have it. Okay, cool. Jamie Nice from a YCE. Love it. 
Awesome. Paul says, is the site good enough? Do I have enough content? Those are common questions that come up all the time, right? When we're thinking about our website, those are very common. So awesome. Keep that going, you guys. We're going to jump into random news, then we'll circle back and uh, re-ask the question and kind of dive in a little bit more. So for random news, we have a lovely, lovely story uh, about this proposal. I'm not going to play the audio, but I will play the the actual clip here. Be a little slow, so keep in mind because we're streaming and we're trying to play a video if it's going to even work for us. Let's see. Come on. Seriously? See, how many of you guys are experiencing the tech troubles today on a Monday? Like literally all morning long, I woke up to having to get out of bed and go right on to tech support. And then from there, I finally got something fixed and then I was able to keep it moving and then I spilled some coffee. I mean, it was like, so it wasn't just tech, but it was quite a bit. So here we go. So this couple is uh, at a fountain. They're proposing. Well, he's proposing. And the little boy, if we can get this to work, see the struggle is real on a Monday. Watch what the little boy does. They have no idea that the little boy is going over there and relieving himself as they have the little proposal moment. And of course, the person taking the video is laughing. And then she's like, hey, um, by the way, the kid just peed on the side. So I don't really know like how romantic and what that says about the, uh, here we go. Oh, what are you doing? Why'd you let him do that? <laughs> So anyway, that I thought that was funny. And then we have our uh, getting ready for summertime. Yeah, it, whether you have a pool or you go to the lake or whatever, like who doesn't want a bull, an inflatable bull for their summertime activities? You can just hop on the bull and just have fun and get thrown off. How fun is that? Uh, so that's... That's your new uh, inflatable for this summer. And then I'm going to bring it back to me for a second. Uh, Jamie says, I can't get my blog loaded on a new site. Oh, yeah, that that's, that's, can be really tough. Are you using WordPress? I'm just curious which, which platform. So this next random news that I'm going to share with you, it's, I feel like I might be in the wrong business, you guys. I, I don't know. Maybe you're in the wrong business because we keep seeing these pop up and it's it's amazing that people are actually buying these items. Now, this one's not as expensive as we've seen with previous uh, products uh, of the same nature. We've shown them on the show here. You've probably seen them in the news. Most of them are, you know, in the hundreds uh, of dollars. This one's at least under $50, but... But it is very weird, and apparently it's it's a thing now. So I'm going to switch it back. Let me get the site up. So these are some new jeans because we can't get enough jeans, right, in the world. And like I said, maybe maybe we're both in the wrong business. Maybe we need to like hop into the fashion business and figure out this jean structure because people are buying these jeans no matter – which way they come or how much gene is actually there. So take a look at this new one for, oops, I have to be on the right one. See, controls are ready. There you go. So apparently there's this new one from Pretty Little Thing for about $34 uh, where you can have a distressed butt. That's what they call it on their website. You know, this is a distressed butt. I don't really know how many women really want their butt to be distressed, but it's there. No, no point intended there. Uh, you know, you have it in two different colors and it, yeah, like it says, cool, I guess, question mark. I, I don't really know. Is this something that you guys are into that this sells? I, I just don't know. Uh, but apparently it's a thing. And the more creative we get with jeans these days, the better, apparently. 
So there's there's that. It's it's really weird. I will say, I don't know if you guys know this, but I will say that I kind of do have somewhat of a fashion line going. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Do any of you guys know about that? I have in my digital store on checkwithed.com, I actually have a few t-shirts that I put in there. Regular t-shirts, you know, just you and me t-shirts. But then I actually do have what's called a baby line. Yeah, I know. It's, it's weird. It's really weird. Let me just tell you the story real quick before I jump over to that screen. So I was creating my t-shirts, right? And all of a sudden, when I hit new t-shirt, a normal t-shirt, then it gave me a baby onesie. And I was like, all right, apparently I'm supposed to make baby clothes. So I started to make a few baby onesies, which then led to, this is how crazy creative I can get, you guys. It's just crazy. So it led, it led me to my baby by Ed, hashtag it wasn't me, baby line. I know it's crazy. It's, it's a trip. But hey, the universe wanted some baby uh, clothes from Ed, so it got it. I got this one. I have a surprise for you. I have this one. It wasn't me. <clears throat> this is one of my favorites. She swiped right. Uh, <laughs> I need stupid easy. Why not her right here? This one is I don't know. Check with Ed. And then keep calm and check with Ed. So, you know, it's just it's fun and games. And it's just one of those things where it's like, why not? I mean, if it's there, the universe is telling me, you know, hey, Ed, why don't you just do something with that? If it's only going to take you a few minutes to pop a few uh, ideas out onto the clothes, go ahead and do it. So I did. There you go. Fun fact for today. So you can find that stuff over on my site under the store. But it's just something It's something fun and different. Welcome to all of those joining. I hope you guys are having a great day. So that that's random news. Uh, you know, just, just some goofy stuff. I love going through all of that. What I want to know, uh, and I'll, again, I'm going to ask this because we asked it at the beginning. We'll ask it throughout the broadcast. But what stresses you out about your website? Or maybe you don't have a website yet, but you're stressed out just thinking about it. Now, a few of you guys have commented already, you know, everything. Uh, there is it good enough? Uh, do I have enough content? Uh, a lot of other times uh, what comes up is... Uh, my blog, I don't I don't know what to put on there. Uh, that kind of ties into, uh, do I have enough content? Uh, also, you know, what you're supposed to do with your website. Because a lot of it is, it's getting user-friendly, but a lot of it, especially when you turn to WordPress, unless you are used to it, it's not as user-friendly as you would like it to be. You know, it's not as easy as just posting on Facebook, which for some... That actually may not be very easy, and that's totally understandable, but it's easier than putting a blog post up on your website. Would most of you agree, even if you're watching the replay? It's one of those things that you have to think about uh, when it comes to your website. Now, how many of you, even if you're watching the replay, how many of you guys actually have a website that is live right now? Let me know in the comments. If you don't have a website, let me know. And if you do have one, but it's not live, tell me why. I know that's like three questions right there, but I'm just curious to see where everyone's at for this. Jamie, you have WordPress. Nice. Okay. Just loaded Divi. Love it. Divi's awesome. And um, we're going to get in a few minutes to the um, resource. Well, in a, f in a little bit, we'll get to the resources. And I have a, a Pinterest board around Divi. So that might be very helpful for you uh, on that part. Whitney, how's it going? Trying to separate perfect from functional. I know. And Whitney is a great example. I'm glad you mentioned that. Whitney is a great example because she actually shared not too long ago on the show that she had her website ready to go, but she didn't launch it yet because she wasn't ready for it. And we were like, just do it. Let's, let's go. And she did it that night. And I had to go live on my personal profile after seeing it. You guys, it's so good. It's so good. And I was so impressed. I was like, you were hiding all of this from us? And we all do that, right? 
we all are thinking, okay, it's not good. And even if it really isn't good, it's still better than nothing. You know, um, hey, Mickey, welcome. Live website, perfect. Uh, Whitney says, live website only because of Ed. <laughs> Thanks, Whitney. I appreciate it. <clears throat> but that that's the thing, you know. It's one of those um, moments where we all we all have that self-doubt. We're all like, no, nah, this isn't good. This isn't there. Uh, we're actually going to talk about site structure here in a second. Uh, so stick around, tag a friend, bring people over. But it's one of those things where we think about a website and it's just like this massive, massive weight that's being put on our shoulders. Then once we actually start doing it, because the buying the domain name is the easy part. That pfft. how many of you guys have multiple domain names? Like that that's an addiction right there. You know, another business idea is uh probably for uh we should have a domain addiction anonymous, some kind of club. You know, somebody can start that and we can have where we all go in and we talk about our addiction with buying all these domain names and if we're ever going to use them and are they worth it and uh, how many people actually got paid more money for the domain name, how long did it take, because did you know that, you guys, that people will buy domain names just like you, they hold on to them, and then they may never do anything with them, but then somebody comes along and is like, hey, I want that domain name, can I buy that from you? That, that's actually what happened with stupideasy.com. Somebody actually had that before. I had to reach out to them because they weren't using it. I wanted it. So we had to go in through ne negotiations to buy the domain name and put it into my name. It was really interesting. Uh, first time I ever had to do that, and it was a very interesting process. So, yeah, it, it, it's pretty crazy uh, how just the domain names can can really get in depth there. But that's the easy part, right? You, th you think, okay, I got a name, cool. The domain's available, awesome. And then you're like, now what? Now I gotta do something with this. And then that's when it starts going down the rabbit hole where you're like, eh, not, not so sure about this. So when it comes to websites, you really have to think about like, what do you want it to do? What do you want for it? And so I'm gonna show you an exercise here uh, just to kind of help you guys and, and give you some resources uh, because I know that some of you really want to do it yourself and that's fine. And then some of you wanna hire somebody like me to help you with that and that's fine. Like all of those things can range, but it's good for you to be informed and it's good for you to do the brainstorming process for this as well. Uh, Mickey says, Domain Addiction Anonymous. Find us at domainaddicts.com or da.com. That is funny. Or <laughs> addictsofdomains.com. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Now, how many of you are going to go through and buy one of those? Come on. Come on now. Don't, don't do it. You know what? You know what? We're just going to see something real quick. Hold up. Hold up. Because this is important. This is important. I actually do like the domainaddicts.com. That's hilarious. We're going to see something. Domain addicts.com. Hey, it's a premium. I, you guys, this happens all the time. All the time. Now, I can't take credit for this because Mickey came up with that name. But every time I search for... Uh, some of these domain names that come to mind, I'm telling you, they're all premium domains. You guys, how how much? How much? Here's a fun test. How much do you think the domainaddicts.com is currently going for right now? Hey, Mindy, welcome. How much do you guys think the domain name domainaddicts.com is going for right now? I have it right here. I'm going to tell you guys, but I want to see, even if you're watching the replay. What do you guys think? I bet you da.com is 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 taken because that's like more lawyer stuff, I would think. Um, addictsofdomains.com. I think that's hilarious. Uh, so Mindy, and for those who uh, joined, we're talking about what stresses you out about your website. So you can let us know even if you're watching the replay, but um, close, Mindy. Nice. I like that. Uh, 5,000, Whitney says. Mickey says 50 bucks for domainaddicts.com. Uh, Mickey, no. No. If I spelled everything correctly here, which I'm pretty sure I did, here we go. You guys want to see? Here we go. Bam! 7000 You. It could be yours for the price, low, low price of $7,026.50. And guess what? It only renews at $12.99. What a steal! 
Who wants to buy that right now? If you do, I'll give you five bucks off because I have a referral code. So we'll save you five bucks. Not bad, not bad. See, you guys learn so much, so much. Um, so anyway, we're uh, asking what stresses you out about your website. So you can let us know in the comments during the live broadcast and, and the follow up uh, for the replay. But we're, we're kind of diving into like domain names are pretty much the easy part and that we're addicted to those. We'll come up with those and we'll buy them because they're super cheap minus that one because it's premium. Uh, and then we go from there where we're like, now what? Now I'm stressed out because I have to figure out what to do with this domain name. I have to figure out the structure of this. And, and we all, all of us fall into this category. So what I wanted to show you was a simple exercise. Now I already did mine just kind of break it out so it's there for you, but I love mind mapping. And there's different mind mapping tools if you're in the Hayed community or if you're gonna become a member here soon, wink, wink. Um, there is a resource that we just put, I just put into the community uh, over the weekend for domain, or for mind mapping. Uh, some of you have been already using those who are Hayed members, which is cool. Um, but what you want to do is set up some kind of a structure. And I do this with pen and paper first before actually using tech, like any of the technology, because that, that can trip you up, minus the mind mapping tool that, that I mentioned, because mind mapping tools are very similar. But I still like to put things down on pen and paper first because it just flows better. We've talked about that before with ideas. So... If we were to look at my website, so let me just pull it up real quick so you guys can see here as a example of what the structure looks like visually, and then I want to show you what it looks like just on here. So let me go ahead and flip my screen. Every time, it's like I'm on the wrong one. There we go. Okay, so site structure. This is just the home page. You can see I have the basic work with me, learn from me, and then that's what we'll focus on here because those are the main focuses right there. So now if we go back to pen and paper, we see we have our home, which filters out to work with Ed, learn from Ed. And then from there we have branches. So I'm just going to read these branches out because it's a little hard to read there. Um, so you have home and then there's two options. So if we go the work with Ed route, that filters out to consulting. So brainstorming, strategizing, marketing, all of that, which then goes to a contact form. Or web services, which then breaks down into web design, where either you build your own site using a course that I have, or there's options where we work together, or I just build it all for you. And then there's the new Keep It Fresh, which is the new blog post updating service that I just added this weekend. That's it. And then those go to the packages. And then from there, the contact forms and then so forth. So that's the basic structure of that part. Does that make sense so far? Mindy says, website stressors, getting all the content ready and then getting all the pieces to work. Yes, yes, getting them to work is the key. Uh, I don't enjoy adding something and having to go to another page to see if it worked and tweak, tweak it a billion times and then still it doesn't work right for me. I know, life of a web designer all the time. I know, I had to do that this morning too. And what's funny is if you guys saw my live from this morning, I actually saw that on the Hey Ed page, it looked like it was broken. You guys actually saw it in the video and I went right away to go fix it. It wasn't broken. For whatever reason, that page just wasn't loading correctly in the incognito browsing, browsing tab. But when I went to the normal browsing tab and I looked at it on different devices, it was normal. So I had nothing to fix. I was just like, ah, oh. but it's just one of those days. Monday's trying to hold us back. And that's why I've been sending out positive vibes to you guys saying, it's not today, Monday, not today. We got this. We're, we're going to push through. And we are. We're almost done. So we're good. Um, so that's that half of the puzzle, right? So it's a simple, simple structure. Now that you know that part, then you can go through and actually build out those pages. Then my other spot, the other main one, is learn from Ed. Now this one's a little different because there's more options. So when you go to learn from Ed, you have 
shows, then that breaks down to Ed Talk TV, Ed Talk Radio, Yes to Entrepreneurship. That's it. Then you have workshops, which that just shows you all the workshops. By the way, we have a workshop, a paid one coming up on Wednesday on how to connect, well, how to set up and use an automated response on your Facebook business page for Messenger and why it's important and how that's going to help your customers get to where they need to be, even if you're not there all the time. So that's going to be up on Wednesday. So you want to check for that. And if you're a Hey Ed member, you get it for free. Otherwise, you can pay the one-time fee for it. Either way, but that's coming up on Wednesday. Then, under Learn From Ed, you have Hey Ed, where you learn about the Hey Ed community. And then you have Stupid Easy, which is takes you to my courses that I've created, both free and paid. So, so that's like the simple breakdown, which actually makes sense, right? When you write it all down, like when you just really pen and paper and you just map out what's in your head, doesn't that make more sense? before you even get to the technology factor. That's what I love about mind mapping tools. When you find one that you're comfortable with, that's what you can do with it on the website, or I'm sorry, on the technology part. You can take that, reproduce it there, move them around a little bit if you need to, make some more notes depending on the system, and then go from there. Then what you do is you start building out your pages on your website. But you don't focus on everything. Turn this, you guys. Here. Here's a tip. Turn this. Let's see if I can get less of a glare. Turn all of this into a to-do list, a checklist. Now, you're probably asking, well, Ed, how do I, how do I make that to-do list? How do I have a checklist on that? That's a, that's a map. I'm glad you asked. I'm so glad you asked. Home. That's one page, you gotta figure out what's gonna go on there. Once you're done with that, and you've actually put it up, check. Now where do you wanna go? Next one over, and down. And then you keep doing that. Go with the one that's most important. Here's the thing, you guys. I had a client uh, recently who, they've had their website in the works for I think over a year, and they still didn't launch. And they they were with somebody else, and then I ended up um, taking them on. And I was like, you know, your site's done. Like, yes, we can add these other pages, but you don't have anything ready for those yet, and I don't want you to be held back anymore. Like, the most important information is there. You have a home page, talks about you, and you have a contact page, gets me in contact with you. That's all I need. That's it. Some of you may only have a home page, and as long as it has info about you and how to contact you, that's good enough. It goes back to uh, what Whitney had said about, you know, um, let me bring it back, uh, uh, separating perfection from functional. It, that's, that's how you do it. You just put the most informational or the most crucial information up front. That's why, you guys, I'm going to show you uh, my website again. That's why... Before, I just had this. This wasn't here. This wasn't here a few weeks back, and then I added it. I just added these here because some of you may not go right away to these pages. Even though I want you to, you may not. You may not even go to my other menu items. But if you scroll down the home page, then it's there again. It's like, oh, hey, here you go. These are the most important things. Go ahead and click. And so from there... That's kind of a nice little reminder for you to say, oh, okay, well, it's right there. I don't really have to think about which one to click on in terms of the, the menu tabs and stuff, because I think that they're easy to do. Like, you're either coming to me to learn or to work. I mean, those are the only two options, really. And so that's why I put them there. But you may be like, hey, I just want to I just want to browse. And you go down the page and you're like, oh, okay, now I see their services now I see there's the show, now I see there's workshops, and now I see there's Hey Ed, right? So, so it makes it a little easier. And then you have more information on there. Um, now on, on that site, I don't have my testimonials right there on the homepage. Will I add them? 
Possibly, now that I'm thinking about them, because I have the page set, now I'm like, oh, maybe I'll add them there. But I do have them on my work with Ed because the work with Ed takes you to, dun, 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 dun. let me make sure I get on the right screen here. Work with Ed takes you to the actual business site, which is Ed Troxel Creative. And I just redid this one to make it again easy. Consulting, web services, and then look at testimonials. And then check this out. We've talked about this before. Reviews on Facebook, and now review on Google. So these are the two most important places that you want to collect reviews. And we've talked about having the reviews tab on your Facebook page. Now you can see, obviously I have testimonials here, but what if you wanted to write me a review? Well, bam, you click on that and look what happens. You get taken to my reviews page. Awesome, so now you can see all the reviews that people have left me. And what's interesting, just so you guys know, most of the time it always defaults to most helpful which for you, you may only see one or two items, but if you click on most recent, which I don't know why it doesn't just go to most recent, then you can see all of them, and then you can just scroll for days. I mean, this is important for you guys to turn on and really utilize. And then for Google, it's a little different. Google is not a direct link necessarily, so when I click on that one, watch what happens. It brings up my profile and it shows you all of my information and you have to scroll down to write a review. So not as clean and direct, but it's decent and it's okay. Uh, so it's there and then you can add your stars and all of that stuff. These are two places that you want to direct people to write reviews for you. It's very helpful for you to get this social proof, which is why I'm starting to add more on the website because I realize some people aren't going to go to Facebook to look at the reviews right away. Like if you found me just on my website, you may not go to Facebook to look at the reviews. Therefore, you have to put some on your actual website. And so now that I'm talking to you guys, I'm thinking, well, I like what's on here, but maybe I need to add that to my actual uh, check with Ed site too, just so that way it's there and it's, it's present. See, these are the things that you think about and it's hard when you're doing all of the work plus your other stuff, right? That that's, that's the hard part. And you sometimes don't think about these things until it's in the moment. Like right now, we're discussing this. Do you see how that works? How all of a sudden you're looking at it and you're, you're sharing out about it, uh, sharing information out about it, and you're like, oh, but I could do this. Maybe I should do that. And so make notes of that and put that somewhere. Uh, so that way you can refer back to it later. And so um, I see a Hey Ed member commenting in the group. I'm like, why aren't you here watching the show? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, they'll catch it later. But it's one of those things that you want to start structuring out your, uh, your website with pen and paper first. So even if you guys have a website, well, let me just ask first, does this help? Does seeing this on pen and, with pen and paper help you with your situation right now? Whether you have a live site or you don't, I'm just curious, does seeing that help you? Even if you're watching the replay, you can still tell me. Then once you do that, then you can start working on those pages and going through and updating just those by themselves. And it's kind of think of this as your uh, showing up and delivering that we talk about all the time here on the show. Think of it as a live broadcast. Now I'm just making this up on the fly, so bear with me. But what if your live broadcast was compared to your website? And I'm always telling you for your live broadcast, to just have a topic in mind and have up to three talking points. Well, let's replace that with your website. You have a website and you have up to three talking points on the page. Homepage. 
Who are you? What do you do? Uh, how can I contact you? Can I get on your email list? I mean, maybe those are your three. Whatever works for you. Um, services, uh, whatever. You know, like think about that and have up to three items on that page. So then that way you can move forward. And it's just really about thinking that through what you need. And you may not have all the answers right now. That's okay. Just make note of it and sit down with pen and paper to make those notes because we can put them in our phones, we can put them on the computer, and that's great and we should at some point, but it's not as clear as it is when you start writing it down. That's why you guys can't see, but I have post-its, like the gigantic post-its, all over my room, my office, and in the hallway. And there's about to be some more coming up here in the next month because I'm going to start working on organizing my my app idea to see if I'm going to be pursuing that this year or not. So I'm already thinking like, okay, where where else can I put things because I have to have this clean for the show because I can't be showing you guys. I can't be showing you guys my, my idea yet. It's not out yet. I got to keep that on the DL. How many of you remember that? The down low. Not the download, because you can download it later once it's live. Keep that in mind. I'm talking about the DL, down low. Anyway, that's some old school for us. Uh, so do this part and then figure out what you need. Now, here, maybe I'm just giving you guys, I'm kind of giving you guys too much, I think. I think I'm giving you guys too much, too much resources, too many resources. But I'm going to share with you because I always like giving you guys the tools to, to roll with what you need to. Because let me give you this example. This happened yesterday. I'm going to give you guys this example and share with you. Uh, because this is a good one, I think. So yesterday I was at the gym and I was asked, you know, what I, what I did for work. And I said, oh, you know, I work from home. Oh, what do you do? Uh, you know, business consulting and web design. Oh, I just got, you know, X, Y, Z, and I'm curious about this and that. I, I don't suppose you work for free, do you? And I was like, no, unfortunately, Bill's got to get paid, so can't do free. Uh, but, you know, he here's some free resources that you can check out. And then I gave him some free resources. Because that's the thing, you guys, as a business owner, and, and just anybody, really, we want to make sure that we try to at least give something, some kind of resource so that they can run with it. They, meaning whoever's asking us for something that maybe we can't necessarily provide or or we can't do at that price or whatever the case may be. Because everyone's going to have different budgets. You know, you're going to think that you can't afford me, but you can. I'm going to think that I can't afford you, but I can. And, and we got to get to that space of, being able to be okay with that. And sometimes it takes us a long time to do that. And sometimes it takes us a lot of the free resource section and absorbing that as much as possible. And then realizing, okay, I really just need to just invest in this, this service. I just need to let Ed take it over. I just need to let Mickey take it over, Mindy take it over, whoever, you know, that's when you can move to the next stage. And so I gave him some free resources many of which you guys have heard here on the show, that you find on my website, all of that. But I'm going to share with you guys this on Pinterest because I don't really advertise my Pinterest a whole lot, but it is a great resource for you. So let me go ahead and flip my screen over there. So on Pinterest, and I'll put this link in the comments, this is for WordPress. I have a WordPress board. WordPress tips. And I try to use Pinterest as my online bookmarking system. So instead of using my own personal private bookmarks on my computer, which I mean, I, I do, but for the most part, I try to pin things to my Pinterest so that it's helpful for you guys who are trying to just do things on your own, excuse me, and just need a little guidance. Now, of course, if you're a HeyEd member, you get even more guidance and more direct resources. This is just an overview. Um, but 
these are the types of things that it's like, oh, okay, well, if you can't afford to do this right now, check out this. Here's a free resource. Because I don't like just leaving people hanging. You know, I was actually talking about this uh, on the phone earlier today. This is the WordPress one, and then I have a websites one. So I'll put this one in the comments too. As you can see, I, I try to pin things that I, I'm looking for, that I've heard people look for, you know, usernames, domain name, and trademark search. Boom. There you go. Uh, it's one of those things that I was just talking about this on the phone today with uh, Apple support. So I had troubles with my watch and my watch was freezing because, you know, I'm on this new health health journey. So I've been trying to track my workouts on, on my Apple watch. But every time I open up the workouts app, it would freeze. Like I couldn't do anything. And it was driving me crazy. So I finally called them. Well, I had them call me. And we spent about an hour on the phone going through some different things. But of course, you know, you have to wait for this to fully update and load and all this stuff. So during that downtime, the tech and I had had an awesome conversation around health, fitness, and just life in general and helping people and how I used to work for Apple and all of that. Anyway, long story short, we talked about how, you know, you just, you it's so awesome to be able to help people and that you want to at least give them something to walk away with. Like, whether or not you can solve their problem, I mean, ideally you want to solve the problem, right? But sometimes you just can't because it's out of your hands. And here's an example. I had one customer one time, and I'll never forget this because I felt horrible because I couldn't do anything. Um, but there was one customer that came in, and this is a fun fact for all of you guys to know too. How many of you guys, let me ask first, how many of you guys have Gmail as a web, uh, as an email service? gmail.com. How many of you guys have an email address at gmail.com? Let me know even if you're watching the replay. The reason I ask is because one time, this was a couple, several years back because I've been out of the game for a while there. Uh, several years ago, I had a customer come in who had trouble with their Gmail account. They couldn't access their email because they forgot their password. Well, you know, not, not an Apple problem because it's not the Apple's device and it's not the Apple computer, uh, but it was Gmail, which is Google. But of course, you know, it's like, no problem. I'll help you out. Like, let's just do that. You guys, Whitney and uh, Mickey have it. Okay, cool. Uh, so make sure you guys are aware of this. This still blows my mind to this day. Uh, so she wasn't able to uh, reset her password. Like we tried because I was like, oh, no problem. Like, you know, I can help you we'll get your password reset and go from there. I will tell you guys, have you guys ever had to reset your password with Google? Ever? If not, it is the... Probably the worst security questions I've ever experienced in my life when it comes to forgotten password security questions. Literally, and they might have gotten better. I haven't used it in a while, thankfully. But literally, the questions would be, when was the last time you successfully logged into your account? Well, chances are, if you have a device like this and you have your computer at home, where they automatically log in all the time once you have the password, you're not going to remember when the last successful login was because you haven't had to manually type it in in years, probably, right? Janet says nightmare. Exactly, Janet. You know where I'm going with this. So, of course, we didn't know that. Then their question is, what was the last password you remember setting? Really? I forget my password and you're going to ask me what was my last password that I remember putting in there? I don't know. You tell me because I forgot, right? I mean, that's that's how you feel, which by the way, if you're struggling with passwords, please get the one password app. It's free on your mobile device. It will change your life. You actually have to use it, of course, for it to change your life, but it's a good system to have. So get that. I, I've told you guys that before and that's on my tools page too. Uh, so, of course, she wasn't able to answer the, that question because who remembers their last password? Uh, name a galaxy you never heard of. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> Janet. So there's all these other questions. 
So long story short, we were not able to reset the password. And when you can't reset the password, you're basically out of luck. But that didn't sit well with me. I was like, no, no, this, that's no, that can't be right. I was like, no, we're, we're going to figure this out. Cause I'm like, this is Google. This is Gmail. Everyone has Gmail. Like Gmail is like the best flipping email service provider ever. Like the, no, like this is not the end. We're going to figure this out. I probably spent an hour or two. Yeah. An hour or two with this customer trying to figure this out. Cause I, I didn't, I mean, they were in tears. I didn't want to let them walk out of the store without accessing their email. If I could help provide something. So of course I'm going to be above and beyond what my role is and what I'm supposed to be doing. But I was like, no, I, I will, we'll figure this out. So I'm Googling, I'm searching, I'm trying to find a phone number. I'm trying to find an email, a chat, something, nothing when it comes to Gmail, nothing. Finally, I got Google's headquarters and I'm, I was like, well, you know what? We're just going to call them and, and see if I can get transferred. Was, how about that? And so we go through the phone system. We get through, I get somebody because there's no Gmail support or whatever on the phone line. So I was like, of course, well, let me just get somebody and then they can transfer me. And so I got somebody and I was like, I tell them the whole story. I'm like, listen, we just need to get into this account because like, this is their life. I mean, it's email. Emails are life. It's got everything. So the person on the phone tells me, there's nobody to transfer you to. What? What do you mean? It's Gmail. Just get me somebody in Gmail support. Like you have to have a team, right? No, there's no team. Like if you don't know the security questions and you can't reset your password and you forgot it, you're locked out for good. Like you can't get in. No, 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 no. There's, there's gotta be a back. There's gotta be a back way. Like, come on. I know you got a Joe in the back. Who's like waiting for this call. Like go get him or Tim, you know, somebody in the back is waiting for this call and they're going to help us out. No, no, there's no, we don't have any, there's no team. There's no Gmail support. I was like, you mean to tell me I got to let this customer go home after all this time, still upset and not being able to access their email, their important emails. Oh, I felt so deflated. You guys so, so deflated after I hung up that phone. I was just like, how do I tell this person that I, I cannot personally help them anymore. Like there's just nothing in my power. I can't even give them a resource. Like that's my biggest thing is you guys, I know a lot and that's not being cocky. I just know a lot cause I study a lot and I research a lot. And, and that's, that's why, you know, you check with Ed, Hey Ed community. Um, but at the end of the day, even if I don't know the hundred percent an answer for you, I can almost guarantee you're going to get some kind of resource that's going to help you find that answer. Like there, that's just, that's who I am. And at this, that point, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't, there was nothing. There was nothing besides me just hoping and blessing her that she was going to have this reminder when she calmed down of what the password was. That was probably one of the worst moments I've ever had because there was just nothing that I personally could do. Even if I wanted to, I was out of all possible options. It was the worst. Uh, some of you guys are with the shocked face. Yeah. Janet says, I got that too. They have an office in Irvine. I walked in. They said my email after, uh, they said my email after 15 years is not mine. Oh, wow. <laughs> See Janet, I'd be scared if I was them. Janet walking up into that place being like, listen, fix my email now. Don't be telling me it's not my email. This is my email. You know, I, I see you, Janet. <laughs> oh man. But you know, sometimes you guys that there, you will run into that and you exhaust all possible options. It's the worst. I will tell you that right now. 
from at least my perspective because I'm so used to being able to find something. Uh, but, but you know, you just, you roll with it. And, and <laughs> Janet says, you know me so well. <laughs> I do. I love it. Uh, but you know, it's one of those things that it, it's important. That's why it's important to know your tool, where your tools, tools and resources are. That's why it's important to be part of a community, whether free or paid that can help support you because you're going to run into those moments where you don't know. And then you're going to freak out and then you're going to try to go somewhere or do something because that's all you can think about. You know, in this case, they went to Apple because they had an iPhone and they associated with Apple, which is great. That's a starting point. But, you know, it, it's those types of things. So and, and then it's hard because you're stressed out and then you also have been driving to get somewhere and then you try to go get help from somebody who's supposed to help you thinking that it's directly related to them and then you find out they can't help you and then you're even more upset and you know, the whole list goes on. We have all experienced that. That's why it's important to know how to utilize your tools and resources. And that includes your people that are around you. And that's why you surround yourself with people that can help you and point you in the right direction. And that's why when you have your website, as we tie this back in, uh, why you have your website is people can reference that and can find that through their searches when they're on Google. And it doesn't matter if you have one page or a hundred pages, although let's keep it clean and let's try to narrow it down. If you're at a hundred pages, you know what I'm saying. But you know what I mean is like have at least one page live. I don't care what it looks like. Even if you got me to look at it and you're like, and it was like, oh, God, yeah, that works. Even if it got that reaction, you guys, that's still better than where's your website? I'd rather have an ugly, hot mess that's functional website than no website at all. Because at least I can find you. And at least there's opportunity to improve it. But if it's not live, there's no, there's nothing. Nobody can find you. You're not really in business. And what are you waiting for? So go out there, revisit your site if it's not live yet. See what info you can put in to get it to that live stage and set a goal to get it live this week. And then if it is live, take a look, create your site structure, pen and paper, do one of what you currently have, and then maybe do another one of what you would like. And you can start at vice versa if, if it's easier. If you have an idea in your head, then just go with that first, write out the site structure, then go through and look at your website and make a site structure and then see how they can compare, how they can tie together. It's going to be some work, but at least this part is fun. It's fun. It's fun. Come on. You know, it's fun. It's way better and more fun than it is to work on your website, like literally work on your website. See, I told you it's, this is fun. So use the pen and paper and go that that route. Jennifer says, mine is definitely a hot mess as of current. But Jennifer, if it's live, it's good. It's ready. I will tell you guys, and this is all because there's always room for opportunity. I have seen some, not from you guys actually, but from some people that are supposed to be like in the PR world and high up in the web design world and, and photography. Trust me, I've seen some, what has been told our professionals, and I go to their website, and it's like, whoa. I can't, really? Really? And, and it's a total, total turnoff. Doesn't mean that that's bad in your case. That means that it's opportunity and that you can improve on that. They can too. It just, they're at a different level. And I don't know if they really see that what they created 10 plus years ago needs to be updated. No offense if you guys have that website, but we constantly have to look at and, and fine tune things every so often. So, uh, you know, 
again, it's all feedback and it's all strengths and opportunities. That That's the thing. And I'd rather see a butt ugly website today that can be improved and grow over time and see it turn into something beautiful. But at the end of the day, all we need is information, who you are, what you do, and how do I get in contact with you? How do I give you my money? That's really what it comes down to. And then worry about all those other things. And, and it's, it's confusing, I, I know, because not only do you have to deal with a website structure, but then you have all these, quote, mini websites. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Your Facebook page, your Instagram account, your YouTube channel, your whatever profile on whatever other website. I get it. I get it. There are all these profiles and you have to maintain them and you have to update them and they feel like a lot of work. So try not to get too overwhelmed with that stuff. Focus on your website because that is your space. All those other ones are just avenues, if you will, routes to come back home, which is your website. So think of it like that. Your home is your website. That's your digital space. Your URL, your website address, your domain name, that is your street address. And then all of the channels, social media channels out there, wherever you have profiles, those are different routes on a GPS where you can see how to get back home. Think of it that way. Hopefully that helps. Uh, so I'm going to leave you with that. If you just tuned in and the comments, you'll see there's different links for the Pinterest boards that I mentioned. Uh, there's checkwithed.com. You'll want to check that out after the show. Uh, we have a new workshop, a paid one coming up. It's free to Hey Ed members. If you're not a Hey Ed member, you can join uh, today, and it's still a low price compared to June 1st. Pricing goes up. Share it with your friends, even if they're not on Facebook, uh, because they may need some help. It's not just about Facebook. It's not just about WordPress. It's about tech and business, all those related questions that you have. And then that's all I got for you. And we'll see you back here tomorrow, same time, same place. Oh, and Friday is our 100th episode. We're celebrating 100 episodes of Ed Talk TV. Woo! Uh, and I have spots, I think, still open if you want to become a guest and come celebrate. Nothing crazy. We're just going to bring you on live via Skype and hang out with us and just just have a little chat. So there's uh, only five spots available. I don't know. I haven't looked today how many have been taken, but uh, you can jump on that as well. If you need the link, uh, just tag me in the comments and I'll, I'll provide it for you. So have a great night and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Take care.